track marks, a smell, a look, no fixed address, or the habit of telling the truth. These are all ways to get refused services. The social ones, the ones universally paid for across the board, but only the cost, not the distribution. That's handed out for good behavior. many people, he said, how to help me. And they could have, but they don't. They won't even listen. Listen. The word is written in the most unexpected place. Exiled and in pain, we dumpster dive to rescue discarded opportunity. Like that blue pencil crayon she used to write summer skies across every homeless shelter sign-in sheet in the city. An ugly young thing she was who could turn you to stone, but who conceived beauty with a look guarded by a head full of snakes. Her voice, shaped by others' expectations, not unexpectedly, she yells, fuck you. The sky blue crayon, meanwhile, sketches the most beautiful mane on the most innocent creature, a horse like a baby. Pegasus' mother was a freak always tripping, grabbing at the back of her neck, but really she was just reassuring herself that they were actually there, the snakes, that she wasn't crazy. She may have lost her looks, huh? but her sanity, she got that back from the last trap where she woke up with some guy ejaculating onto her neck it ran down toward her back, and she reached to wipe it off. But in the end, it was just nothing but snakes, a relief. I've been staying clean, she told me, except when I had to smoke crack to prove I'm no narc. I'm not what they think I am. Hands in her hair, she checks her sanity, her voice, shaped by others' expectations, screams at me, fuck you, I am not who they think I am. He once said, people who are poor have no voice. I'm so fucking broke. My voice goes absolutely nowhere. I answered that the problem with snakes is that I don't know how to get away from them. They can go everywhere. She gave them her voice. Silently wrote, listen. In sky blue pencil crayon, it was louder than her fuck you. It was sound, turned to stone, to sand, to glass. It was the clarity of pain smashed against the 10 p.m. shelter curfew of a day. Which one? She doesn't know which one anyway. 
she remembers the traps and the liberties taken with her there. Dried on the back of her neck like seawater, salty and clean. The horse she dreams of will come true. There's a youth room at the shelter where I made her bed. Wished her good night and turned out the lights. Left her alone like a child in the dark. A week later, she was dead. They cut off her head and posted it on Facebook, where I found out she was going to be a hairdresser, was into beauty. Before. Before the dragon came to stroke her wrists, play with her veins, turn her future to ice, her gaze to crystal. Fuck you! She had screamed at me. I'm not what they think. What are you? I had asked. We sat on the sidewalk. She smoked a cigarette while I listened. I'm a peaceful place she said. I am green grass and I love horses. But all I could give her was the youth room at the shelter where she twirled her hair like a child while I made her bed with clean sheets, said goodnight, turned out the light, left her alone in the dark.